Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for joining us on the channel today and checking out this episode. Now here, in front of your very eyes, I have this rather cool looking Tamiya Subaru Brat. And this is on the uh, re-release chassis. Um, it's still like based on the original, on the original ORV, but this is a 58, is it 384? time of your release so I have a 384 or 348 it's one of those two numbers um but yeah this is a re-release of the time of your Subaru Brat now I've not had a Brat on the channel before and I thought it'd be cool to get one on now how I came about this car is a gentleman who uh, watches the channel and uh, reached out to me and said he's got a couple of Tamiya's that he is thinking of getting rid, in, rid of, or would I be interested? So we discussed it, and um, the fellow, I hope he doesn't mind mentioning his name, called Mark, um, who didn't live too far away from me, uh, agreed to come and meet me, and we did a deal. So, are those th these weren't donated to the channel as such. He did give me an extremely fair price on them, which I'm very grateful for, and, as you can see, this is one of them, the Subaru Brat. And I'm really liking this because it's painted in an almost British racing green come bronze green, which is very similar to what I have on my uh, classic Land Rover. Uh, obviously highlighted with the Brat gold decals. And uh, it's been uh, quite nicely painted as well. But this to me, it doesn't look like a re-release. It looks much older it looks like this was an original brat now i don't know if that's the color or the fact that the roll bar on the front plastic bumpers the white ones have faded a bit and so a bit of discoloration there or what but to me it looks like a, a much older looking brat which i think is extremely cool but it has the benefit of having those rear dog bones um in the uh, the drivetrain rather than the old hex fit bones that came with it we used to wear so easily also as well compared to the original brat this has got a differential in it which is good and not just uh, a fixed um you know can't think of the words right now but it's not just a fixed you know spool as to say so um you know it's got a proper diff in it which is good so it's uh, that makes it much better also it's got a 540 in it as well but this has got a sport tuned black sport tuned motor which is great now i'm not entirely sure if i'll be keeping this this car in the long run but we've already discussed that and mark is fine with it um but i tell you the motor will go into my striker as i've been looking for something along the lines that's period correct for the striker now i was looking at an, an sd 540 blue cap motor um and, but they are getting pricey so luckily, since this comes with the sport tune, which date back to 1990, which is three years after the striker, that'll fit in nicely. But anyway, so I think the thing is, after coming out with the uh, Brat and it looks so nice, I think the thing is, we need to give it a bit of a run. Uh, so let's see how she goes. Fully ball raced as well. Electric speed control in there and ball races and the sport tune motor. Anyway. Let's give her a bit of a drive. Yeah, I'm never sure how much batteries these have got in, to be honest, because I use them for racing. Ooh! <laughs> Didn't mean to do that and we were stuck there we go <laughs> bit of a divot there <laughs> well yeah it's looking nice in the sort of sunlight but yeah i thought this would be it's only around the back from me this track from where my house is and i thought it'd be a nice 
place just to bring the brat. And you can see it. Sorry, I have to excuse my shadow being in the way. It's not uh, ideal. <laughs> I know I'm seeing, not seeing me not to go very fast. I've got this uh, camera mounted on the front of my stick transmitter, and I must say it's actually easier using the wheel. But either way, I think you can agree it's a classic, and it does look cool. Yeah. I mean, for the type of suspension it's got, it's going over the bumps quite well. You know, it's only got the uh, rear trailing arm suspension. It doesn't have proper shocks on the front. It's got like a torsion bar system. But yeah, can't grumble. I'm rather enjoying this. Who knows, maybe I'll change my mind and I'll keep the brat and get rid of something else. <laughs> but yeah, I thought, just thought since I got it off mark, it was well worth uh, putting on the channel for you guys to see because it's a really nice looking brat. And we say we've not featured one on the channel yet. So, as good as time as any. I just can't seem to get it to go very fast on here. Maybe that's a good idea as well because i don't want to go and damage the thing oh oh god he says that he says that and then he goes and flips it over on a stone but we're okay we're good <laughs> uh it's curse of the uh, commentator almost isn't it Anyway, let's have a look at it here. Okay. But I think you'll agree, it is a very cool looking Subaru brand. And I'm glad I was able to get it off uh, Mark. So a big thanks to uh, Mark for coming to meet me and letting me get these cars off him at a really uh, good price. Uh, I say any money that is made from these will go directly back into the channel as well, so we can bring you more videos. There you go, but yeah, it does look nice. So I uh, dig in that a lot. Right, okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one here for now. So uh, thanks for checking this video out. And uh, thank you for putting up with my, my camera skills stuck on a remote again. Much appreciated. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, hitting that like and notification bell as it does help with all the algorithms but yeah um, look after yourselves as always and take care see you soon bye